All right, Twisters, this is our life now. Um, obviously, twisting's not a big thing right now, unless you're doing pieces to deliver on that, which you're making at home, or you're doing the long art. So, one thing that I've been playing with now that I'm doing more foils that I've ever done before, and blowing up and doing deliveries. Um, I have a dual sizer, which I really, really like, so that's a nice thing. But even before that, when I was doing all my 260s, and even when we get back to doing what we're doing, um, we're not going to be mouth inflating for the most part. So I do have my tool, two legendas, which I love for walk around and birthday parties and that. But now with festivals, I've always taken this thing to my three hour plus festivals. Now it's going to be probably two hours and everything else. So once I get back into it, I'm going to be taking that guy where I'm in more often. So if you know what that is from Twist and Shout, I bring these to Twist and Shout. They're my towers. So they're basically just a helium tank nozzle hooked up to an air compressor that just constantly refills. So you constantly got a flow of air. Now that I'm doing foils, I decided to take my little Mylar thing here and put that on the air compressor as well. So I actually have a splitter, so it's split between the two. So what I want to do is I want to show you how this works. And we're going to go from there. So that is basically just your standard old, this is an old one I had laying around. I got a few of these laying around here. But basically I found a pipe that was threaded male to male and that was able to go into there and it was the same thread as my helium tank rubber nozzles. So that just screwed right into there. So it's just literally directly connected to the hose that just goes right over to the air compressor. So easy peasy, but it does blow up mylars. So I've got a leftover Mother's Day balloon. Slap that on there. And that blows up just like any other mylar would. And then as soon as it gets full, it automatically stops because the gauge here, the, the mylar gauge has nothing to do with the air compressor. The air compressor is just supplying the air. So when you are doing the lawn art, most of you know this, but just for the people that don't, when you blow it up, these make these firm. Now this is great if you're doing a, a house delivery, indoors, whatever, outside in the yard, if you don't want it this full, um, especially if the balloon's black. Because basically with mylars, the, the air on the inside is going to heat up and expand. Mylars don't stretch. They're not elasticy. They're not balloons. Well, they aren't balloons, but they're not latex balloons. So what's going to happen is basically this is going to get filled and once the pressure gets so great it's just going to pop out one of the seams and then just deflate and you're going to be done so be careful with these but these blow up 260s like super duper fast ah, i'm loving that so i've been using that for years so there's a suggestion for you guys 